This is uh, one of the premier flats fishing boats in the world. Uh, it's, uh, it's built by East Cape and a um, lot, a lot of attention to detail. It's a very dry boat. It's got deep spray rails. Uh, we'll start at the front. It's got the Minn Kota trolling motor with the uh, iPilot control. Um, this is top of the line. Um, it's got the Ramblin upgraded trailer, the Ramline trailer. Um, this is uh, this is steel and powder coated. It's um, it's got mag wheels. It's got the new stainless axle and tires. I just did the bearing, so. It's ready to go anywhere. It's ready for probably years of service. Um, the trailer is top of the line. It's got the uh, walking platform on the other side and, and step ups on both sides. So it's, a, it's custom made for this boat. Okay, it's got, um, it's got sea deck on the front hatch, which is easy on your feet when you stand here and fish. Uh, it's got a 26 gallon fuel tank here um, aluminum. Um, it's got the JL speaker system. This is a $2,500 upgrade, $3,000 upgrade. It's got pull holders under here for nine rods. So plenty of, plenty of, uh, plenty of pull holders for rods. The, uh, V-Marine push pull holders. Uh, for a 19 foot push pole, uh, jump seat, uh, very nice console. It's got the Etsin steering wheel, which is the best. Uh, it's got the double thick seat cushion with all the batteries and utilities under the seat to stay dry. It's got a charging system on it. Plenty of storage. It's got a 40 gallon live well. This is the crowning jewel on this boat. Uh, boats this size, 17 foot, nine inches. Uh, flat water skiffs generally do not have live wells like this. This is a live well. This live well is as good as any live well on larger bay boats. You can see that's a 40 gallon live well. Um, if you're not a live bait fisherman, you can use this for dry storage, for wet storage, uh, uh, and you can even use this for a ballast in rough water if you're anchored up. It keeps the front of the boat up high. So this is just a, a wonderful option on this boat. It's got uh, the maximum horsepower on it. This is a Mercury Pro XS. It's the best Mercury makes. Uh, it's a 115, which is the maximum on this boat, which... I really like, I always like to max my boats out so that if you have it loaded, the live well's loaded and you have two guys in the boat and the captain, this boat will pick them all right up, put them on plane immediately and go at least 40 miles an hour. Um, uh, it's got dual power pole for shallow water anchoring. That's, it's all been serviced, it's all very, very good for, for flats fishing. When you see your fish, no spooking, no trolling motor, no nothing, just right down. Uh, I'm all ready to trailer. I have the uh, trailer and package on this boat with the, uh, maybe you can zoom in on that, Pastor George, the uh, powder coated, uh, that is the, uh, 9200 powder coated, made specifically for this engine. Uh, the polling platform is all powder coated. Uh, it's got pole holders on it. It's got trim tabs. It's got a jack plate on the engine. There's so many options on this boat. This was the most expensive build that East Cape did on this boat up to this point in 2018. So this was their ultimate build on this boat. So uh, uh, I'm proud to own it. And it's a nice, very, very nice fishing platform for the flats or the family. 
Going out to the sandbar, it's safe, cuts through the water, it's dry. New from the factory, and all of them in this class, all the boat builders in this class are up to $80,000, even beyond, depending on your options. And like I said before, this boat is totally optioned out, and uh, it's just a sound fishing machine that's gonna, uh, it's gonna last for many years, a pleasurable fishing, flats, fresh water, whatever you wanna do. Um, I've used it up in the Adirondacks for my bass and pike, and uh, it's just a great fishing machine. Please contact Pastor George for more, or myself, for more details and information. Thank you.